humans, I'm Yo Schiller, and welcome back to some more Animal Crossing New Horizons. It is going to be yet another day in which I shall be catching fish, bugs, and deep sea creatures, but fortunately, I just obtained a bunch more fish bait thanks to my friend Emmatronics, who generously made me fish baits yesterday when I recorded a multiplayer video with her. So, that should knock out the fishing criteria. It's the bug catching criteria that I'm primarily concerned about. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna go over to the resident services building, I'm gonna buy myself a Nook Miles ticket, and I'm gonna go to a Nook Miles Island today. And I'm gonna see if that helps me luck out in getting bugs or something much more easily. For now. Good evening everyone! Right now in Aquanet, it's 8.10pm on Friday, February 5th, 2021. No breaking news today! Is it just me or did this week fly by? It did and it didn't. I've been working on stuff every day and so a lot of the days felt the same, but <laughs> I, I wasn't getting as much work done per day as I would have liked, so the days felt a little slow. I'm actually not going to start the day off by checking my mailbox. I do have to start my day off by taking this phone call from Timmy and Tommy, so let me do that real quickly. Yes, yes, yes. He sent the payment. Lots of bells. Awesome. Lots and lots of bells. Okay. Perhaps I should start the day off by selling some things. Oh! That's right! Today technically counts as day 300 for my Animal Crossing New Horizons series. The video you're watching is definitely day 302. But I'd like, to friend I'd like to leave a friendly reminder and say that two of the days that I recorded technically didn't count because I recorded them at midnight or 2 in the morning, which counts as a new day for us in the real world. But in Animal Crossing, a day begins anew at 5 a.m. So because I didn't record past 5 a.m., it didn't count. But okay, I am now a ready-made MVP, and this Nook Miles achievement here is completely done now. It's done. The other Nook Miles achievements are mostly beyond my control. I can't really fix that one. I can clear that one. Well, no, I can't. I can get to the next step on this one, but I can't clear that entire one before the series comes to a close. And we're going to worry about these ones at the top here today. So let me write down some numbers. So I have to catch 50 fish. So that would put me at 2615. Simple arithmetic. I should remember how to add up some numbers. As for the bugs, I gotta get 40 bugs. That would put me at 3,080. If I could get more bugs, I would like to because I kinda slacked off on that for the past couple of days. I should catch up. And then deep sea creatures, we gotta get to one, two, two, two. Okay. So let's stop by resident services and get some Nook Miles tickets for myself. And then see if I can go to a Nook Miles Island where catching each of these creatures will be easy. Actually, okay, I will buy a Nook Miles ticket or two for myself. But I also want to catch my island's wasps real quickly. Because that's that's more or less five guaranteed bugs. And Leaf is on my island. That's good. And there's a damselfly. Okay. Immediately catching a bug. They don't have to exhaust my island's wasp supply just yet. I would love to go to Tarantula Island today. I know it exists. I would like to go there, please. For now, does my island also have ants on it? There are no ants. Oh, there's that one star fragment I wished upon. Well, I'll take that. Alright, maybe I best just get the wasps real quickly. Hang on, is this a bug? This is a... It's no bug. Well, I'll... I guess I can still pick it up. Alright, so... Releasing you. Taking this. Alright, so my inventory is full. That's fine. I'm still gonna catch my island's five wasps. Then I'm gonna sell some stuff. Then I'm gonna... Get a Nook Miles ticket or two, and then I am island hopping in hopes of being able to fulfill my bug catching, fishing, and deep sea diving criteria before the end of the video. Don't want to slouch on any of them anymore. There we go. Boom. So, I'm about to run out of inventory space, but I should be able to carry five more wasp nests so I can keep track of how many wasps I've caught on my island. So that's one. Okay. Furniture. A bidet? Well, I do kind of like those. Here, let it go. Take this, take this. All right, this one's got to have wasps in it, right? Furniture again! What are we talking here? A zen cushion. Well, those are handy. Well, then I guess I shall let this go. All righty. Try that. Okay, what if I take the tree branch and then shake it again? There it is! Aha, I can't believe a simple tree branch prevented all of these wasps from falling out of these trees. Well, let it go. Goodbye. Okay. And then boom. And then hop off. More wasps. More problems. Got it though. So that's only three wasps on my island today. We're going to let it go. Alright. 
take this, and then we're gonna go here. And we're gonna take this tree, boom. And then if I had to wager a guess, the final tree on my island to contain wasps will be the one that's more or less directly north of me. Alright. Okay, and that knocks out the Nook Miles achievement for catching five bugs, which is nice. Not that I necessarily need more Nook Miles, but I guess getting a few extra more would be handy in case I have to buy Nook Miles tickets for my friends again in the future. Alright, here we go. Let's do it. Uh, let's take that too. And, oh, I'm right, because the tree in the top right is so surrounded by flowers, it just doesn't have wasps on it anymore. So there, that's already five bugs caught, plus the damselfly I caught at the beginning, so six bugs caught. Nice. Alright, actually, let me run over this way. Let me go ahead and deposit the star fragment I picked up, as well as maybe one or two of the other items I obtained. Here, some, some weed clumps, sure. And then, I'm gonna do what I said. Buy a Nook Miles ticket or two. And I'm going island hopping. And I don't have to go to Tarantula Island today. I don't have to. But I would like to. I would like to before the series comes to a close. And it would be extremely useful if I did so when I was still trying to do all these bug catching quotas. So come on. Let's hope for the best, huh? Here we go, here we go, here we go. So I shall head on in here. Tell you what, I'll hang on to these weed clumps. I'll hang on to the conches, I'll hang on to the star fragment, and I'll hang on to, I suppose, the dartboard. Everything else is probably going to go. I'm going to rearrange these real quickly, so, eh. eh. I'll hang on to the zen cushion as well. And the bidet. I didn't think I wanted to hang on to extra furniture, but alas, here we are. Now let's sell some stuff. And let's get a move on. I've got so much to do today, and I haven't even started the fishing yet. It's usually the most time-consuming process. Although I guess finding bugs in general is the most time-consuming process. But fishing, I just I just got to do it. So let's actually go inside and sell stuff today. That way I can at least get a good look at what my store is, is selling in case I actually want to purchase anything. Hmm. Not particularly... I do remember these fish. They go all all around my bathroom and... Oh, I still have maximum bells. <laughs> Alright, hang on. So, boom, 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 boom. Right. Okay. Good. Taking that. Thank you. Yeah, okay. I don't need to carry this many bells anymore. I withdrew all those bells because I was supposed to buy a crown from the clothing shop yesterday and I just didn't do it. Okay, I already have a crown, so I don't need a spare one. I just, I, I just, just wasting people's time carrying all this extra money. But I had to stop by resident services anyway, so I may as well deposit my money. Let's get two Nook Miles tickets. I'm gonna give myself two attempts to go to an island that I think will benefit me. It doesn't have to be Tarantula Island. I would prefer it if it was Tarantula Island, but let's have a look. So, using the machine, seven days in a row, baby. All right. So first, ABD. Let's deposit. Then let's do a hundred thousand. Very good. All right, that's all set. I've got nearly twelve million bells in my bank account here, so that's handy. Now we're gonna redeem some Nook Miles, and I'm gonna get two of these for myself. So, thank you. That's one. Good, 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 good. Okie dokie. And then this next one will be two. So yes. Boom. Okay, this in case I wind up going to Bamboo Island or something. Although, I suppose that if I go to Bamboo Island, I could turn it into a makeshift Tarantula Island, just like I did back toward the beginning of the series when I first needed to catch tarantulas anyway. So, this could work. Thank you. Alright, now that that's all set, let's head to the airport, and let's use these Nook Miles tickets. Here we are. Any wasps, or sorry... Any moths want to spawn in the meantime? I wouldn't mind catching one quick moth. No moths. Not seeing any. Okay, well, then let's just go. Let's see where the tickets take me. Let's see what's in store for Ole Yo Schiller today as he attempts to clear his bug catching, fishing, and deep sea diving quotas. Alright, so I want to fly. Alright, I do have a Nook Mouse ticket on me. And that's exactly what I would like to use. Okay. Good, good, good. I'm all set. 
Got plenty of fish bait. My inventory has space in it. I've got fishing rods and bug catching nets and plenty of nook miles to spend if I need to get more while I'm on one of these nook miles islands. So I would say that I am safely prepared and ready to go. So let's see what island I'll get tonight. Hmm? What do we have? I would love Tarantula Island. Don't think this is it. Well, let's see if this island's of any use to me anyway. There's a potential it could be Damselfly Island again. No, it's the Spiral Island. Good for fishing, I suppose. Oh, and then there's this. If it's a recipe that I don't need, I'm just going to leave it here. Let's open that up. Hi. Log chair. I already know it. So, goodbye. Alright, yeah, I don't want to spend too much time here then. Although, I suppose I can make a mess and knock out a daily Nook Miles achievement real quickly for bonking trees. Actually, I should be shaking the trees because there could be wasps in one of these. So furniture in one of them. Mama Panda! Let's take that. And then one of these has wasps and it's one that doesn't have fruit on it. It's not that one. Could be this one? Nope. Put an extra tree branch. I'll take it. Okay. This one? No. Hmm. Alright. Then I'm gonna hop across. Here we go. There it is. All right, I didn't shake these trees, did I? Don't think so. I think I just swiftly ran past them. Nope, not that tree. And not that tree. Okay, well, I don't really know. There's this tree, I guess. It has to be this one. It is that one! Alright, well, hey, extra bug obtained. Cool. Um, now I'm going to chop down some of these trees just to get some more daily nook miles and then I'm getting out of here. Alright. Alright, not a very helpful island to me. I already spent an entire Animal Crossing day on this island just like 10 days ago, so let's skip it. There. Daily Nook Miles achievement knocked out. Good, good. Okay. Catch a spider? Well, if one of these trees on one of these islands will have a spider, I'll catch it. But for now, I'm leaving. Not worth my time, I'm afraid. Let's use one more Nook Miles ticket and hope that I don't go to the exact same island. Not that I think it's a thing, but I have suspicion to believe that maybe you can't go to the same exact island design twice in a row. But you probably can. I want that to be true so badly, but you probably can go to the same exact Nook Miles island design twice in a row. Because it generates one of 20 or so different designs. So let's not do the spiral design. I would not mind going back to the Damselfly Island, but that spiral island, not doing much for me. So, use this Nook Miles ticket. Okay. Time for takeoff. And if you bring me back to that Spiral Island, then I'm gonna... I'm gonna bail, and I'm gonna come back here, and I'm just gonna spend the rest of my day over here. Alright? Let's do it. Alright. Second tries the ta the, the, the charm! Can't even say the phrase correctly. Second times the charm. Alright, let's try this. Had to get that one Nook Miles ticket out of my system. Alright, well this island is at least a different design. What else we got? Hmm. Well, I suppose I can make this work. One of these trees will have wasps. It's that one! Great! Thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, well that's an extra bug. I'll just take all the trees just in case. Tree branch. Cool. Okay. Probably go and chop them all down so they can be a bunch of tree stumps and that way some beetles can potentially spawn. Alright, this is this is my island life now. This is where I'm gonna be spending the day. Alright. I'm pretty sure oh, there we go. I'm pretty sure it's just one tree contains wasps per one, per each of these islands and one tree contains a piece of furniture. So alright, let's get the sharp axe out. Let's chop these down, and then let's go fishing. Ah, there it is. And then, boom, 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 goodbye. And then, boom, 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 goodbye. And then, dirt, 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 goodbye. Duck, 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 goodbye. Oh, I am making a mess immediately, but it is what it is. Don't even have to do this. I just need more bugs. I just wanted to go to Tarantula Island. Uh, maybe another day. Maybe another day. Okay, and then... There. 
And there should be a tree down here. Good. Goodbye. And then is that a bug by any chance? No, that's just a regular old shell. Alright, well then, let's go fishing. Let's catch this fish without the need of fish bait, and then let's just use up all that fish bait that I've got. There you go, this fish immediately bit on. I love it when it's quick. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Very good. Alright. Let's move it to it. Let's get... What? I am right in front of the water! <laughs> I literally just caught a fish. I did not move. Alright, let's go. 49 more fish to go. There's a good chance that I might go back to my island after I'm done catching these fish. And I might just get another Nook Miles ticket. Because otherwise, I've only caught, what, eight bugs today? It's terrible. Absolutely terrible. Not even a quarter of the way done with catching bugs today. But let me at least focus on the fishing. In fact, there's not really much of a reason for me to use my fish bait here. I may as well catch as many fish as I can without fish bait. So let me catch this fish, and then let me catch some freshwater fish, and let me get the heck off this island. This is kind of a waste, if I'm being honest. I mean, unless some bugs start spawning on atop these tree stumps... There's not really much of a reason for me to stay here. I can do all of this back on my own island. I really need- I really did need to go to Tarantula Island or Damselfly Island. But oh well. It's okay. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I was just trying to scoot around. Alright, let's try and get this fish real quickly then. Yeah, the point of these Nook Miles Islands is to take advantage of the fact that I can utilize its resources while having very little on hand. So, let's get this fish. Okay, there we go. There are extra fish that I can catch without the need of fish bait. Goodbye. Alright. So, that's it then. This island's a waste of my time. I chopped those, tree down, those trees down for nothing. Oh, well, hang on. There is a tiger beetle right here. Okay, extra bug. That's handy. That's good. I don't know if I'm used to seeing tiger beetles spawn on the rocks over here, but that was handy. Alright, and you know what? Let's, let's use my wetsuit real quickly. And let's get this one deep sea creature that's just right here. Alright, and then there's a fish there. Great. I'll get that fish as well. Man, I'm really just cycling through all my activities today, huh? This part's gonna be a mess. There, one deep sea creature. Only 19 left to go. Good, good, good. Now let's get back on, on to shore. And let's catch this fish without the need of fish bait. And then I'll catch one more fish without the need of fish bait. And then I'm going home. Unless this island can appeal to me in some other way. I, mean, I do see some bubbles back there. I'll get that deep sea creature real quickly too. Alright, there. Horse mackerel, good. Put this away. Oh yeah, I caught five fish. Good. 300 more nook miles. Awesome. Alright, talk to my neighbors. Well, I can't do that on these nook miles islands. But I can jump off that rock. I mean, I can jump off a rock on my own island too, but... It's a little less accessible. Alright, there. Deep sea creature number two. Good. 10% of the way done fulfilling my deep sea diving quota today. But that's the easier one. What I really need is bugs. That's what I need from going to these Nook Miles Islands. Or I just need ants to continuously spawn on my own island. That's really what I need. I've already exhausted my island of its wasps. I need moths or something to spawn. No other bugs are even spawning here. What the frick? What am I to do if no bugs spawn? Alright, let's get let's get two fish. Let's get this one, and then I'll get the one that's further to the right. So come on, is that fish gonna... Nope, you're gonna go the opposite direction. Then I'm probably only gonna get one fish. Let's just toss this right there and see if either of you will go for it. Probably the one on the right. Okay. I mean, it'd be nice if I could go for both of you. Let's see. Okay, well, there's one fish. Just a regular old pond smelt. Okay. And then here's two fish. Try that. Oh, man. Okay, barely out of your view. Try this. Wait. There it is. Okay. Extra fish. Good. Alright. Ah, this fish as well then. I'm hanging on to fish bait when I really don't need to be doing that. That's the point of having excess fish bait is so that I can just power through all this fishing. And now it's just a shoe. It's just a shoe in. Alright, you know what? I'm taking the shoe. And I'm putting this back on my own island, back in my little trash pile. And then we're gonna just see how things play out from there. Alright, I'm going home. Goodbye. There is no need for me 
to go to a Nook Miles Island today if the island is just going to be these designs. And now I'm already a third of the way through my video and I'm not even close to completing any of my quotas. I mean, I'm 10% of the way done with my deep sea diving quota and I've caught like six or seven fish, but ugh, horrible. I'm going to sell what I have and this time I'm going to use the, the drop-off box in front of the shop just because it's faster. And then I'm just going to go fishing in front. I tried to mix things up today. I really did. But some days just weren't meant to be mixed up. Some days were just meant to... I don't know. Be boring. Oh yeah, wait, no, let me, let me sell stuff first. Alright. Yeah, I'm really gonna need moths and ants to spawn. So let's sell. And then... Not the boot. I'm hanging on to the boot. Uh... I'll sell the mama panda. I can always get another one of those. There. Sold stuff. Easy peasy. There, another fish I can catch without the need of fish bait. And then I'm using... I'm probably gonna use fish bait to catch the rest of them. Okay, wait. Okay, it's on. Very good. Extra fish. Good. Now let me switch to the bug catching net in case ants are available on the right side of my island. I'm a little surprised that they didn't spawn there at the beginning of the day, but sometimes when I just quickly... Oh, this is like... Okay, never mind. Sometimes when I just quickly leave the screen and come back, they do spawn in that place. So, let's see. No ants! What the heck? What is happening? Where are my ants? Alright, drop that item there, I guess. Hopefully some bugs start spawning over here. I'm, I'm really counting on them. What this? Is this a bug? No, it's just a regular old shell. Well, I'll take it. Dude, where are the bugs? Where are the bugs? Where did the bugs go? There's a bug. Give me that. Thank you. And then, I mean, snowballs are still appearing on my island. Oh, frick. All right. I've got plenty of tree branches. Let's craft another one. All right. Somewhat relieved that there are not dung beetles at this exact moment in time. So let's craft. Sorry, Tybalt. I need this right now. So I need to go to tools. I need to make a flimsy net. And then I need to upgrade that to a regular net. And then from there... Oh, Tybalt. I'm sorry. I'll speak with you in a moment, sir. One moment. Didn't even want to applaud me while I was crafting stuff. Hmm. I mean, you don't have to, but it does seem a bit unlike you. Alright, what's going on, man? Have a sec, hero. I've been in a slump lately. I think my rah rah catchphrase is a little tired. Nah, it works for you. I like it. Alright, there. Now that that crisis has been averted, let's see what else I can catch. Hmm. Probably not any spiders. I guess I didn't shake this tree up here. It could contain a spider. It would be nice if it did. Tell you what, I'll even accidentally pluck the flowers. Okay. Hey, there is a spider. What do you know? Frick, I missed. Darn it, I missed again. Alright, come on. So that's my 10th bug today. Alright, we're a quarter of the way done. Fulfilling my bug catching quota. Ugh, oh, catching bugs is going to be so much easier when the month of March rolls around. Winter will come to a close. There. Alright. We're good. Chop down trees. Oh, I did that already, though. There's, a, there's another bug. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There! Alright. Things are coming up, yo shiller. Catching more bugs. That's good. That's good, and then I can just focus on fishing and deep-sea diving, and we can knock those out. Not seeing any dung beetles. That's okay. It's okay. There's a mole cricket. I just heard it. But I don't want a mole cricket right now. I want ants or wharf roaches or even a butterfly, a damselfly, something that's much easier to obtain. It doesn't require me to use a shovel. Alright, ants. Please. There, yeah, ants! No! Frick! All right, let me let me wrap back around. Tell me they've respawned already. Finally, I get some ants and I ruin my chances. Oh my god! Why? Why can't I catch any ants today? Ants are supposed to be my life-saving bug that allow me to knock out this bug catching quota every single day with relative ease. And now they don't want to spawn? Dude, what did I do wrong? All right, well then I'll tell you what. I'm desperate. I'm really hoping they spawn here and they're not. They're just, they're just not. Okay. Hey, Bertha, how are you doing? What if I speak to you real quickly? You're like, you're staring at me and it's making me nervous. Okay, I'll leave you alone. I'll leave you alone. Mm. For once, I actually want to talk to one of my villagers and they don't want to talk to me. It'd be like that sometimes. Okay, let me check these, these shores. Stu, hi! How are you doing? 
Okay, what's the latest? Yes, you get sleepy when it's dark out. I suppose that's a good thing. Here. I spoke to you guys. I got 200 extra Nook Miles. Good. Catch snowflakes. Okay, I'm not gonna focus on these daily achievements anymore. I'm just gonna go fishing. Now, I've lost track of how many more fish I need to catch, but I may as well go through 13 more bags of fish bait before I check, right? Because 50 fish is a lot. I feel like I've only caught 10 or so. There we go. Make that 11. If it even is 11. Alright, so let's power through the fishing portion of this video, and then I'll, I'll look for more ants and whatnot afterward. There. Try that, and then we'll take a deep sea diving break at some point. And these fish are immediately biting on! I do love it when that happens. Okay, good. Good, good, good. More fish bait. Very nice. Hmm. Okay, took a second. But it's here now. And you see it. And you did not bite on immediately. You have ruined the flow of this whole thing, fish. There it is. Thank you. Ah, red snapper. Alright, yeah, once my inventory's full, I'm gonna sell a bunch of this stuff. Alright, let's go through another set of ten. We are. Give this a try. There we go. Waiting. Okay. So. Something I want to bring up. Something to talk about while I catch these fish. I think in a couple of days, I'm finally going to switch my game over to the Japanese language. I am in the process of trying to learn Japanese... And I am using an app called Duolingo to help me. And I'll be real with you guys. At most, all I've been doing lately is one or two quick daily quizzes in the app. I have not really been furthering my, my learning of the language. For those that don't know, Japanese has different alphabets. I feel pretty good about reading the hiragana alphabet. I can read three or four letters in the katakana alphabet, and I pretty much can't read kanji. Anyway, I've been advised multiple times that if I want to better my understanding of the Japanese language, I need to get into the habit of reading it regularly. And since playing Animal Crossing is something I do every day, perhaps switching it to the Japanese language will allow me to better practice my reading of it. It might be a bit frustrating for some of the people watching the series, but I'm starting to think that because I'm just catching fish and bugs and deep sea creatures every single day, perhaps switching the game to Japanese will at least add for a slightly different change of pace, and you guys can watch me struggle to learn Japanese, or watch me better understand it. I'm not going to be able to translate words that well. I know a couple of basic words, you know, Ohio, Konnichiwa, Ichi ni san yon. Go, Roku, Nana, I don't remember what 8 is, Q, is, uh, you know, I, I, uh, Aka is red, Owl is blue, Shiro is white, Hi is yes, Ye is no, I can do basic Japanese words, you get it, but to form a Japanese sentence, to be able to look at a sentence and translate it into English, can't quite do that. But I at least want to be able to regularly read the letters. I feel like that's how you learn a language with, the, with a different alphabet, is you just learn the letters first, and then you and you learn the words, and then you learn sentence structure. So, that's the idea. And I was told that Animal Crossing, because it's a kid's game, it has very simple Japanese structure. So it might be an ideal game for me to practice with. Another game would be Pokemon. And I might do a video of me playing Pokemon in Japanese. I don't know. I mean, Pokemon actually helped me learn to read English. So, it only makes sense that if I want to learn another language, perhaps playing Pokemon is my best bet. I used to play Pokemon games not knowing which attack was which, but I'd memorize which attack was which based on how long the attack name was. And I, I remembered character names like Bruno and Brock and Misty, and then some Pokemon names like, you know, Pikachu... Butterfree, Charizard. I learned stuff like that. And I played Pokemon Red and Pokemon Gold simultaneously, so I was better able to remember certain names. So, anyway, all this to say, I think, not tomorrow, but maybe the day after, or maybe the day after that, like maybe this Sunday or this Monday, I will change the game 
into Japanese. And if it's boring for some people, and if it proves to be a waste of my time, I'll switch it back. But I want to leave it in Japanese for a week or two. There was a part of this plan that consisted of me leaving the game in Japanese for the remainder of the series. I don't think I want to do that. But I do want to try playing the game in Japanese for a week. We'll call it my Japanese arc, if you will. Oh, I was supposed to see how many fish I've caught. And then I was supposed to clear out my inventory. So where are we at right now? I'm at 2589. I need to get to 2615. So I have to catch 26 more fish. Alright. So let me... Let me sell some stuff. Hang on, is there a present? There is. Okay, so let me pop that real quickly. The good news is, switching my game to Japanese at this point in time won't halt my progress too much. I, I know I just have to catch fish and bugs and deep sea creatures anyway, so it's not like I really have to read too much. And I've played enough of this game to where I think I have a pretty good understanding of where certain, certain options on menus are. And I can navigate my way through the game fairly well. So I think I'll be okay. Butterfly fish model. What do you know? That was inside the shop. Well, I'm gonna sell it anyway. Alright, 26 more fish, huh? Let's sell. Sell that. Thank you. Goodbye. So basically, I'll catch 27 fish today. I'll go through three more sets of these fish bait. The one that has seven bags left, the one, and then two that have ten bags left. So, here we go. Let's move this over here. Let's keep it going. So yeah, that's something I want to do, and it, it might be frustrating to watch because a lot of me reading Japanese is going to sound like someone who's reading English, so I'm going to read it like Hiragana, tempura, enpitsu, kippu, ichi ni san. Like, it's going to start off like that, but hopefully in a year or two from now, I'll be so fluent that it's going to be awesome. So, we'll see. This is, a, this is a series I play daily. I'm trying to practice Japanese daily. Maybe I should merge the two ideas together. And I'm looking for ways to mix up the series so that these last 50 or so days aren't too repetitive. So we'll see what I can do. I mean, oh, you know what though? The holiday of Festival is coming up. So, maybe on that day, I'll switch it back to English. Frick. All right. Switch it back to Festi- switch it back to English on Festival so I can actually understand what's going on. Or should I not? Maybe that's a- that's a question I'll pose on that day. Ooh. Butterfly, don't mind if I do. Extra bug! Okay. Good, 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 good. Yeah, on Festival, if I'm playing the game in Japanese for the remainder of the series, should I leave it in Japanese on Festival so I can try to really test my skills. I barely know enough words of Japanese, so I, I probably won't understand what's going on, but it's something I would not be opposed to doing necessarily. We'll see how frustrating it is for you to play the game in Japanese. I might just, I might switch it back to English for that day. But for now, let's switch the places of these two. Let's get that back out. And then... Could catch that fish right there, but no, no. Oh, wait, there's a moth. Hang on. I should catch you. Make my bug catching quota easier for today. Yeah, so instead of it saying, I caught a moth and I had a ball doing it, that's going to say something similar to that, but in Japanese. Yeah. And I'll have to see what it says. But if it's written in katakana, then I probably won't be able to read it as well. So I'll address that when the time comes. I'll say I can't read that or I can read that. But if I can read it, I'll, I'll try my darndest. Here we go. Okay. Wait. 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 There it is. Okay. Good, 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 good. And I caught a horse mackerel. Good. Alright. Powering through this. Almost done with the fishing. At least I was able to talk about Japanese for a little bit. I just think learning Japanese is beneficial. I think if you have the opportunity to become bilingual, it, it can only help. I'm not saying people have to be bilingual, but I think being bilingual is one of the best skills you can have. And especially for someone like me who wants to work in the game industry, I, I personally believe the best second language I can learn is Japanese because so many of the pioneering game companies are either in North America or 
Japan. And there's also Ubisoft, I get that. You know, learning French could be handy. Learning German can be handy because of Nintendo of Europe. But I, I think the dominant languages in the game industry are Japanese and English. And I like to think that I'm pretty good at English. I like to think that I've got my sentence structure pretty down. I like to think that I know my parts of speech. I like to think that I know when to use whom versus who. So, I feel good with my English skills. So if I can become fluent in Japanese, perhaps that can help me land a job in the game industry. I don't think I want to be a translator, but I think being able to translate could help me get my foot in the door. A lot of comp a lot of big companies uh, look for translator look for translation work. I don't know if I'll ever get to the point of someone like Bill Trennan who can translate a sentence as someone else is speaking in another language. I don't know if I'll ever get that good. That's tough. But I would like to be able to carry a conversation even if it's a little slow. And I want to go back to Japan and I think being able to speak basic Japanese will help me on my way there. And even if I can't speak it, being able to read it would be beneficial as well. So if playing Animal Crossing will help me practice my Japanese, then so be it. That is just something I will attempt to do. Here's hoping it goes well. Okay, wait. I mean, if I could read Japanese and speak back to you guys in English, do you know how much of an advantage that would give me playing certain games going forward? I know a lot of games are trying to do international releases going forward. It's just ideal to do that. But, you know, say a game was released in Japan a month before it's released in America. Say it's released a year before it comes to North America. Oh man, if I got the Japanese version of a game on the Nintendo Switch eShop, I'd have a huge advantage because I can just read everything and explain everything to you guys. The game to have done that with would have been Persona 5 Strikers. That game comes out in about two weeks or so. And man, I do want to get it. I don't know if I'm going to record it for my channel, but I want to I want to get it. But if I, if I knew fluent Japanese, I probably would have recorded that for my channel and said, Oh, he's just saying this. Oh, he's just saying this. Alternatively, the other franchise to do that with is Fire Emblem and Mother 3. I have been asked to... Let's, let's work in reverse order on that. I've been asked to record Mother 3 for my channel because I recorded Earthbound back in 2014, 2015. 2015 is when I recorded Earthbound. And I really enjoyed it. So I had a lot of people ask, are you ever going to play Mother 3? And I said, well, no, because the game has never been officially translated and officially localized. If the game ever does get officially translated and localized, then yeah, I'll do it. At this point, who knows if it will? There have been so many rumors suggesting it will. And then there was another relatively short-lived rumor suggesting that the game was going to be remade in 3D. And I remember when the Switch was first coming out, they were saying they were going to release Mother 3 for that system. And... I don't know what their plan is, and that's a whole different conversation. Who knows what Nintendo wants to do with the Earthbound IP. They were doing something celebratory last year, but then the pandemic happened, so I don't know if their plans got scrapped or what. I don't know if Mother 3's localization was part of that. But anyway, if I could play the game in Japanese, that would be ideal. Oh, frick! Alright, I'm gonna go catch an extra fish without the need of fish bait then. Playing the game in Japanese probably isn't too... Well, it probably is going to be rough, but it probably won't be too bad because I played Earthbound. Had I not played Earthbound in the past, I'd probably have no idea what's going on in the game. Jumping into a new IP, a new gameplay style in a foreign language is a bit of a tough ask, but something like Mother might be okay. I need to play games that were, were made with the intention that a kid could play them. You know, it doesn't have to be a kid game. It doesn't have to be like, you know, Mario teaches Japanese. It doesn't have to be that, but it needs to be a game that a kid could play. And actually a good example that I learned was actually Hey You Pikachu. And I learned this because I was on the Good Vibes Gaming News Roundup podcast. And Steve Bowling said that he played Hey You Pikachu in Japanese to try and better learn the language because that game requires you to speak Japanese and you speak very simple phrases because the game was made with kids in mind. And I realized that's actually a pretty brilliant idea. I do have a Japanese Nintendo 64 back when I was using my Nintendo 64 DD and it's just, it's just sitting here. 
So if I wanted to get Japanese Hey You Pikachu, I could. But I, I need I need the, uh, for that, I still feel as though I need to be a bit more fluent. Not just because I need to speak Japanese, but also for that type of game, I would need to be able to read the instructions very clearly because I need to know exactly what they want me to say. So, we'll see if that ever comes to fruition. The other Japanese games I own are F-Zero GX and Bomberman 64 The Second Attack. And F-Zero, I mean, reading Japanese is helpful for navigating menus, but it's a racing game. You don't really need to read much. I only have it because I have the F-Zero X expansion kit, and reading Japanese would be helpful for that, because in the expansion kit, you're, you're playing with a course maker. So you have a bunch... The, the game, if you want to call it a game, is all menus. So knowing Japanese would be helpful there. Actually, come to think of it... This is just me spitballing. Perhaps if I did become more fluent in Japanese, I would not be opposed to revisiting my Nintendo 64 DD collection and better understanding what's going on. Because I played all of those games, and a couple of games were straightforward. You know, like playing golf, or playing, well, Mario Artist. But some other games, like SimCity, I, I would need to know Japanese for that. So maybe I'll go back to those. Or maybe I can play that with a friend who does know Japanese and they can translate it on the spot. Not sure. We shall see. Okay. For now, let me get through this bag of fish bait. And then I should have met my quota, right? After I get through this amount. And then I can just go to bug catching and deep sea diving. There we go. This fish fit on immediately. Awesome. Alright, let's see how you're doing. It's a red snapper. Awesome. Okay. Quick fish. Quick fish. Wait. 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 There we go. You know, I am a bit surprised myself that I was able to keep that whole conversation about learning Japanese while catching all those fish. I did mess up catching one fish. And I get that I commentate these videos every single day for a living, but... I don't know. I'm just a little pleased with myself that I didn't have to pause too much to think about what I wanted to say. I want to learn Japanese. I'll probably switch this game into the Japanese language setting in a couple of days. Maybe, maybe not tomorrow because I want to listen to KK. And I'll have him play a secret song or something. And then I'll try to play the game in Japanese for a week or two. And we'll go from there. Okay, let's see. It would probably be a bit more exciting if I knew Japanese a little more. But, hey. I was actually supposed to get into the habit of writing Japanese every day, too. I did not quite follow up on that. Maybe when I switch this game into Japanese, I'll follow up on that. Really want to do it. Give myself that bilingual advantage. Okay, wait. There it is. Okay. So that should be my 50th or 51st fish for the day, right? Let's see where we're at. Boom. Boom. Okay. 2616. Yep, that's my 51st fish. So the fish quota is done. I gotta catch bugs and I gotta catch deep sea creatures. So if moths and ants want to spawn, that would be awesome. And I'll tell you what, I will catch this snowflake. And if I see other snowflakes, I'll catch them as well. Get myself a few extra Nook Miles. Not that I need to worry about them. But hey, there's a moth! Very good. That's what I need to worry about, is more moths. So let's catch a few more bugs, and then I'll knock out the deep sea diving portion of this video. Any moths in front of my house? No. No, not yet. Okay. Let's try this. So, let's sell. Boom, 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 boom. Still somewhat humorous to me that you can't sell a snowflake. I guess it would just melt inside. Like, who's gonna buy a snowflake? I don't know. Just funny that you cannot sell it, though. You can sell all sorts of other junk, but not a snowflake. No, sir. Alright, ants, please. No, ants! What the heck, ants? What the heck? That one actually was a bug. Okay, that's good. That'll make up for the lack of ants. If I run back over to the left where the ants have spawned now, ants spawned once today, and I screwed it up. I didn't catch them. There we go. Ants! Good! Thank you! Give me those ants! That's much better! Okay. All set. Got me some ants. Now what do we got? What's up here? We got... Oh, a damselfly! Wait, 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 wait. Gotta catch you before you go too far. Very good! Extra bug. Okay. I might just meet the bug quota today after all. I might be okay. Still no dung beetles. That's okay. It's not necessary. Ooh. Ooh. 
Ooh, 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 let's not mess this up. Boom! All right, extra bug! All right, so have I caught 20 bugs today? How am I doing on the bug quota? I have to get to 3,080. I'm at 3,059. Oof, I've only caught 19 bugs today. Ouch. Not even halfway. Well, if more ants want to spawn, that would be good. How about more beetles, huh? Nope. How about more moths? Or a wharf roach? Or a hermit crab? Or a butterfly? Or a damselfly? There are plenty of bugs that could spawn during this time. Hey, a second star fragment. I'll take that too. Come on. Need more bugs. That's not a bug. That was a regular shell. I will take it. Thank you. Alright, let's look around. Not seeing wharf roaches. Okay. Hmm. Not seeing any more hermit crabs. Are there more ants? There are. Alright, well at least I'm halfway done to fulfilling my bug catching quota. Let me stop by the shop one more time. Perhaps some more moths may have spawned. And then I will go deep sea diving. I only gotta get 18 more deep sea creatures. It's still a pretty big amount, but it's less than 20. So I should be able to power through it. There. Let me check in front of my house again. Sometimes there are moths in front of my house, but not today. Not today. How about some wharf roaches? No wharf roaches. Okay. Well, then I will do this. Goodbye. Oh, Stu, you like that, huh? <laughs> Went all wide-eyed in an attempt to try and look through the binoculars. I can respect that. Here, let me take a couple of shells. Clear up the beaches a little bit. Whoa, hey! Wait! Got it! Extra bug! Nice! You know what? I'm gonna take this as well. Take that. And then take this. And then let's go sell some stuff. There you go. Wait, there's a beetle there. Wait, wait, wait. I see it. I barely see it. But I do see it. Come here, beetle. Got it! Extra bugs! Cool. Now let's sell some stuff. This is working. This is working out! Okay. So, let's sell. Do, do, do. Oh, this won't even let you sell the star fragments in here. Well, that's good. I don't have to worry about accidentally selling those. Hang on. I do want to sell the sand dollars. There it is. Thank you. Cool. Alright, let's check for ants one more time then, huh? Actually, hang on. Is this going to be another hermit crab? Frick, I missed! What?! What the heck?! That's lame. I really can't afford to be missing bugs right now. There, extra moth. That'll do. I'll gladly take that. More than halfway done with catching bugs today. Extra snowflake. Not that I need it. I scared the fish away. Well, I already met the fish quota today, so whatever. What if I go on this beach right here? What's over here, huh? More shells? Yeah. And no hermit crabs? Yeah! To be expected. Head back over to the left. Could there be another moth? No. 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 Is that a snowflake back here? It was. Alright. Let's knock out the snowflake quota. Hopefully catching these snowflakes will cause more bugs to spawn. I still have that as a possible theory. That these take up bug spawning slots or something. Here we go. So that's a daily Nook Miles achievement that I knocked out. For a few extra Nook Miles I don't really even need. The next achievement's Bonk Rocks. I'll do it now. Okay. Because Bonking Rocks can cause bugs to spawn. Might still be worth doing anyway. Maybe a gold nugget will come out. Let's see. So. Oh, well, hey! Alright. Let's get the bug. That's top priority. Don't let it get away. Got it! Extra bug! Cool. Okay. Great. Glad I did that then. And all these sand dollars in one place. Or, I mean, some of them could be giant clams, but... All right here. Okay. Clean those up. All right. Any other hermit crabs want to spawn? Because I messed up on the other one. Come on. Uh. Oh, a moth. Thank you. I'll gladly take that. Good. And now that I caught this bug, perhaps a different bug will spawn elsewhere on my island. Such as maybe ants spawning over by these rotten turnips that I've had there for pretty much two weeks. What do we got? Where are my ants? What gives? Why are there no ants anymore? <laughs> Alright, fine. Let's go deep sea diving. Oh, a balloon? Alright, no. Let's go bug catching a little more. And be on the lookout for the balloon. Okay. okay. 
Oh, I guess if I'm gonna go bug catching a little more, I can keep the net out. Come on, hermit crabs. Where are they at? I'll take that. And I'll pick up all the shells. Picking up all those shells. Okay, come on. Come on. And then we gotta wait for the balloon to get here. Ah, uh, it's a blessing and a curse that I saw that balloon. And don't even necessarily need what's inside of it. But it could be a recipe. Oh, hey, look, an extra bug. Let's get it. Boom. All right. Is the balloon here yet? Let's see. Hoppa, 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 hoppa. I'm glad I was able to get an extra bug. Where's that balloon? Probably should have been paying attention as to whether or not it was coming toward the island. Oh, no, it definitely was. Here it is. Darn it, I missed. Try that. There it is. Thank you. All right, what have we got? This is... Da -da 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 -da. Mantis head model. Okay, neat. I suppose. Hmm. Alright. Are there ants now that I've moved to a different portion of the island? There are! There are ants! Okay. Now I feel better about going deep sea diving. So, let's put that away. And let's jump into the ocean! Oh, hang on. There's bubbles down south here. And then I'll go to the bubbles that are up north. There we go. What do we got? 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 Nice! It is... Acorn Bronco, well, doesn't matter, okay. So that's deep sea creature number three. Let's go for deep sea creature number four! And then we'll be 20% of the way done with all of the deep sea diving today. Hooray! Okay, here we go. Okay. Cool, goodbye. Nice. Let's move around. Let's swim. Let's get some more deep sea creatures. 16 more to go. There we go. The next set of bubbles is already upon us. Let's get it. And this will put me at a quarter of the way done with catching deep sea creatures for the day. And then I just got to catch like 16 more bugs. Hopefully moths and ants will spawn and it'll be glorious. And we'll get to one, two, two, two deep sea creatures today. 3,080 bugs and 2,616 fish. Big numbers. Big numbers. And soon I shall be doing all of this in Japanese. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Hey, 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 hey! I am not in the mood to have to be chasing you. No. Come on. Yeah. There it is. Thank you. And look, we already got the next set of bubbles right there. Excellent. All right. Let's go to... So what, that was my sixth deep sea creature or fifth? Oh, I've already lost count again. At least this will be a very quick one. Presumably... Presumably seaweed? Yeah. Okay. We got it. We're good. Excellent. All right. And hop. Good, good, good. More bubbles! More bubbles! Here we are. Let's get it. Thank you. Huppa, 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 huppa. And more seaweed. Awesome. All right, we're not even halfway there yet, though. I think that's only my seventh or eighth deep sea creature caught for the day. But we do have the next set of bubbles in sight. And it looks as though it will be something relatively straightforward to obtain. Probably a sea anemone or seaweed once again. And then we got the next set of bubbles after that. Perfect. All right, well, after I get those next set of bubbles, we'll see where we are. I'll either have obtained nine deep sea creatures or ten deep sea creatures for the day. Hopefully it's ten, but if you guys have been keeping track, then you guys know the answer, right? So here we go. What is this? What do we got? Bada bing, bada boom. It is nice. All right, how many have I caught today? Oh, we can't even carry anything else. Maybe I should stop back at the shore real quickly. Well, what number am I at? I am at one, two, one, two. Great, I'm halfway. Ten deep sea creatures. Awesome. If I see any bubbles on the way back to the shore, I'll collect them. But otherwise, it is my intention to go to the shore, sell some more stuff, then maybe catch one or two more bugs, then finish the other half of this deep sea diving. All right, I'll go for those bubbles real quickly. Let's see what we've got. It is. Da -da 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 -da. Here we go. Deep sea creature number eleven for the day. Oh. A Sea pig that quickly, huh? Alright, I'll swap it. 
got to be more valuable than acorn barnacles, right? Not that I need more bells, but maybe my friends need bells and I can give them the bells. Or maybe I got to buy something expensive in the future. That Mario 35th anniversary stuff is coming up. So we shall see. Oh, there's bubbles back there. Forfeit them for now. Got to get back to the shore. Back to the shore. Clean out my inventory. And then we'll be okay. Here we are. Thank you. Okay. So now if I see any bugs, I'll be ready. Come on, ants. Tell me there are some ants that have spawned. Or damselfly or butterfly or something. I'm looking. Come on, ants. Ants! Yay! Alright. And how many more bugs do I have to catch today? Just so I know. Let me see where I'm at with the bug quota. I'm at 3068. I have to get 12 more bugs. It's doable. It's doable. It's not so bad. In the next four minutes? I mean, maybe. It depends on how lucky I get with moths and ants. Oh, what's up? What's up, Wendy? I was reading this article online about a fad sweeping the music industry scene right now. Oh? Everyone's putting a mantis head model in their living rooms. Oh, you want it? Hold on. Yeah, you want it? You can have it. Yeah, you... Make an offer. Okay. Sure, you can just have it. Yeah. Whatever makes you happy. Does this count as doing a villager favor? That little jingle goes off. I think it does. Let's, let me listen. Fabtastic. I don't think so. I don't think that counts as doing a villager favor. But hey, whatever makes you happy, Wendy. I ain't gonna be using it. Alright, so are there any moths? No. No moths. Alright, well, I'm gonna catch this snowflake real quickly. Not that I need it. But I'll catch it. And then I'm selling more stuff, darn it. Alright, let me check my house. See if there's a moth there. There is not. Let me check over here. See if there's a moth here. There is not. Oh, there is. Oh, 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 there's two bugs. Okay, so first we're getting that. And then I have to get this other bug, but I have to make sure I don't accidentally talk to Leaf. So... Excuse me. I have to make sure I get the bug and not the snowflake. Got the bug! Good. Good, good, good. And I can't carry anything else. That's, that's fine. That's fine. So, let me actually go inside and sell stuff this time. Because that way when I step back outside, bugs and deep sea creatures will spawn in different locations. And that could work to my advantage. So let's go inside. Here we go. Huppa, huppa, huppa. Hey, guys. How's it going? Alright, I want to sell, and I am offering, boom, 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 I'll hang on to the snowflakes, good, that'll do, alrighty, 20,000 more bells, awesome, okay, I guess I could stop by my house real quickly, drop off the snowflakes and the star fragment as well, reset the bugs and deep sea creatures outside again anyway, any moths want to immediately spawn by these doors? Yeah, they do. Oh, hang on, wait. No, it's very crucial that I catch that moth. Okay. Very good. It's working. This is working out. It's okay that I didn't go to Tarantula Island today. I'm catching plenty of moths back at home. I thought I saw something else. Alright. Now let's go inside. Put some stuff away. Hmm. I'm trying to think, do I want to hang on to this moth? Maybe I want to make a moth model in the future. Alright. Then I shall do that. Put that in storage. Put those in storage. Put this in storage. Okay. All set. Plenty of inventory. Gotta catch nine more deep sea creatures, I believe. And then, like, ten more bugs. No moths want to spawn right outside my door. No worries. Check the mail tomorrow. Okay, let's see. Hmm. No more bugs. Well, let's check the ant stash real quickly. Let's see if there's any shells on the beach as well, because I picked up a bunch of those. Oh, sorry, Wendy. Did not mean to push you. Genuinely did not see you there. Perspective was blocking you. No ants! Dude. Dude. Just, I just need some ants. Alright, are there any bubbles? Where are the bubbles? Where are the bubbles? Oh, wait. That could be a bug right there. That could be a hermit crab. Let's go for it. And then... Got it! It was! Hooray! So glad I swung my net at it. Okay. Let's keep the net out for another moment then, since I'm not jumping in the water immediately anyway. 
check up top. Any more beetles? Not seeing anything. Not seeing any dung beetles. Anything on the tree stumps over here? Nothing. Hmm. Any bubbles in the back? I can jump into the water from up here. Not seeing any bubbles. Hmm. Might. Oh, wait, there are some bubbles. Okay. So I should be able to jump in from here, right? Yeah! Alright! Cool. Let's go get some more deep sea creatures and we'll focus on fulfilling the bug quota shortly afterward. Alright. Here we go. Let's get this one. Hey, uh. So glad I can jump into the ocean from there. It makes this all so much easier. Okay, and then there's these bubbles. Here we go. Let's get it, 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 let's get it. And... Cool. Nice! Thank you. Alright, I'm sorry. How many more deep sea creatures do I need? I know, I keep checking. I just need to know. I'm at 1, 2, 1, 5. I gotta get 7 more. That's not so bad. I can get 7 more deep sea creatures. Let me swim in a diagonal. So I can see as much space as possible. See as many bubble opportunities as I can. There you go. You're kind of swimming toward me. Oh. Oh, how much you want to bet this is a sea pig? Alright, let's go. It's moving. Alright, I gotta go slowly. Don't really need to deal with these tough-to-catch deep-sea creatures right now, but it do be like that sometimes. Alright, you need, you need to slow yourself down. What the heck? There are two different deep-sea creatures there is. Okay, so there's this one. So I'll get this real quickly, just seaweed, that's fine. Six more deep sea creatures to go. And now, I gotta sneak up on this one. I'm glad you led me toward another deep sea creature. That's good. Alright, let's get it. Got it! Five more deep sea creatures to go, and hey, what do you know? It is indeed a sea pig. Oh, more bubbles right there. Almost missed them. Let's go get it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, we good. I got it. It is a sea star. Great. Four more deep sea creatures to go. I guess at this point, maybe I should swim to the lower right. As long as I swim to diagonal, I guess we should be okay. Hopefully I'll see another batch of bubbles. I'm looking. Here we go. Two more batches of bubbles. Well, don't mind if I do. Alright. Got it. What do we got? This is sweet shrimp. Very good. Hey, uh, good. We're going. I'm getting it. And then. Eight. Come here, you. I think it's only two more deep sea creatures after this. So I'll catch two more and then I'll check. And if I have to catch one more or something after that, that's fine. And then we'll finish the bug catching quota. Here we go. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Yeah! Oh, this is gonna like start escaping from me, isn't it? Oh boy. Oh dear. Okay, gotta sneak up on it. Gotta go slowly, slowly, slowly. Alright, and then we'll go back and get those bubbles up top. Alright, what is this? What's trying to get away from me? Aha! I should have guessed. It is a snow crab. Very good. Now let's go get that. And then that should be the last deep sea creature I need. So, let's get it. Let's make it quick. Don't start swimming away from me now, and if you do, don't go very far. Oh, man. Got it immediately. It is... Alright, it's just a poster. Alright, so I think that's all the deep sea creatures I need. Let's see. I should be at one, two, two, two. Perfect! Alright, I'm gonna swim back to the shore. If there's one deep sea creature that is convenient to obtain that is along the way, I shall go for it. Otherwise, it does not matter. Oh, this is directly in front of me. I may as well get it, then. Let's get it. Thank you. See an enemy. Awesome. So I went above the quotas for the fishing and the deep sea creatures. And for what, I'm falling behind on the bug catching. I don't want to have to catch 50 bugs a day. Catching 40 bugs a day was supposed to be worthwhile. There's wharf roaches right there. Okay. That'll, that'll be handy. Best not scare them off. Let's get back on shore. Let's get the net out. Let's walk on the rock. And then, please let me get these. Let me get one. Got it! Good. Okay, one bug closer. Let's check for the ants. Or any potential hermit crabs along the way. 
Come on now. Let's see. Oh, wait, more? Really? Okay. Extra wharf roaches. I ain't complaining. Got it. Thank you. This is certainly speeding up this process a lot. I like it. And the balloon. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Cool. Hey, wait, 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 wait. All right, let's see. So, okay, I got plenty of inventory. So what's the deal with this? What is this? This is plastic pool. Great. Awesome. I'll, I'll probably sell it. But I'm glad I got it. So if I ever want to order another one, I can just do that. So let's get the bug catching net back out. That's going to be my main tool for the remainder of this video. Are there ants? There are ants. Frick! Come on, man! Why am I so bad at catching ants specifically today? I was doing fine on previous days. Not much changed between these days. Come on, any more ants to spawn? Frick! Come on! <laughs> uh. Okay, let's sell some more stuff. Frick, man! I don't have time to be missing ants. Why am I missing? Okay, I'm off. Good. Let's get that. Okay. How many more bugs do I need? Five more! Frick, if those ants- oh, no, there's a balloon? Okay, hang on. If those ants could just spawn, I could be done with this. Oh, that didn't count. Okay. I, oh, I gotta, I gotta go further back. Oh, and there's a damselfly! Frick, come on! Hurry up! Why? 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 Okay, I'm going after the damselfly first. Priorities, man. Good. Four more bugs. Now let me get the balloon. Frick. Okay, well. Make another one. Let's go. It's a good thing I've got a handy dandy crafting station just behind my house. Why can I not do anything today? I can't. <laughs> Thank you. I can't catch ants. I can't pop the balloons. Oh, it's up top here. Okay. Let's move that over here. And what is this, huh? Oh my god, I can't even catch that damselfly because I don't have a net! Frick, man! Alright, I'm coming back, damselfly. I'm just going to make a flimsy net for now. I'm going to catch you, and then I'm going to upgrade this net. Here we go. Just the flimsy net for now. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Thank you. Hope that that fly is still there. Alright, come on. Flimsy net. Please, 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 please. Where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? Yes, come on. Got it. Okay. Thank you. Now, fortunately, I've got another crafting station right here that I added here like two days ago. So, let's upgrade this net. And then I guess I can make one more item real quickly so as to knock out another Daily Nook Miles achievement. Here we go. Keep crafting. And then, I don't know, a flimsy shovel? Sure. Good. All right, done for now. Let's catch just a couple more bugs there. All right, good, good, good. All right, dive for deep sea creatures. No, oh, I did that already today. Let's sell some stuff. So let's sell, and then that, 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 and that. Okay. 21,000 more bells. Don't mind if I do. Are there more moths? I'm not seeing any. Please. Oh, wait. There's a damselfly, though. I think it just spawned. Or at the very least, it just just came into that perspective. Okay. Now let's check the ants. Let's catch an ant. And then let's be done. Ah! Okay. Oh, frick. I just scared a beetle away. I did not see it. I did not need that to happen. Are there ants? Nope. Of course there are no ants. Ants don't spawn on my island anymore, guys. I think I think my trick for catching ants is ruined. I, I did something wrong. They used to spawn all the time, and now they just, they just don't spawn anymore. Come on. Don't want to fall behind on the bug catching quota. I'm already so close to clearing it today. I'm already over time. The sooner I catch these final one or two bugs, the better. Are there moths in front of your guys' houses? No. Hmm. Let me loop around, see what else I can find. Probably not going to find any bugs up here. 
I mean, there could be moths in front of your guys' houses, but not looking to be the case. Alright, let's head on back down. Come on. Come on. Hmm. I'm looking. No moths. Okay, tell me there are ants again. Please! Please let there be an ant spawning over here! Come on! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm ready for it. Yes! Please! Not what I wanted to do! Come on! Thank you! Man, I sure am clumsy today. Give me this. Give me this. Okay. How many more bugs do I need? One. One bug. Come on, a moth, a damselfly, the ants respawning immediately. Please, just something. Tell you what, I'll sell these coconuts real quickly, alright? I want someone there's a moth right in front of the store. Then I can be done. In front of the museum? No. Okay. Come on. So, let's sell. Sell these real quickly. Alright, sell. Good, I've made over 60,000 bells today. Insanity. No moths. No damselflies. Let me be on the lookout for a tiger beetle. Nope, not one there. Come on, please. Ants, spawn immediately. Yes! Please! Okay! I made my quotas! I caught 50 fish, 40 bugs, and 20 deep sea creatures today. I am all set. I am done recording today. So folks, that wraps up today's video of Animal Crossing New Horizons, and I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope to see you all in future videos, and I will not change my game in the Japanese tomorrow, but I might do that the following day, if not the day after that. But we'll be switching to Japanese soon, and I hope you'll be able to tolerate it with me as I try to learn a second language. Alright, bye bye humans! Whoosh! Hey! Thank you for watching my video! If you want to continue to support my content, the best thing you can do is like this video and subscribe to my channel! All you have to do is click the little buttons down below. Also, please be sure to follow me on Twitter to stay up to date with my video schedule. My tag is at RealYoShiller. I hope to see you all in future videos! Bye bye Whoosh!